Whenever I build something, I make sure that I think about every aspect of the build before I even start. And I make sure that I know how to do everything before I even select my wood. With this particular project, I wanted to use some antique glass that I recycled from a cabin. But the first thing I had to figure out was whether I could cut the glass appropriately to the size that I needed. So after disassembling one of the doors that the glass was in, I decided to see if I could cut the glass perfectly, uh, meaning that it would be straight and I could make square pieces. So this is the first time I had ever cut antique glass like this and it was rather thick and it had a, um, a design on one side that you'd actually feel. So I wound up using a glass cutter and I cut the back side, the smooth side, and then I used the same cutter and just tapped along um, the edge of the cut uh, after flipping it over as you see here to make sure that the cut travels all the way through the glass and then um, Just broke off the end and as you can see uh, the cut was clean and There wasn't any other breaks or cracks in the glass So I knew that I could cut the glass to the appropriate dimensions. I needed after I made the doors Now the wood from the original frame uh, after I took the paint off with a plane uh, looked really good And it was really nice hardwood uh, I was about 40 years old, but I figured that I could use it to actually make uh, the smaller doors for the printer cabinet that I was going to make. However, after attempting this, um, I reproduced the joints and everything, um, but they just didn't close up the way I wanted them to. And since I was using cherry for the rest of the cabinet, I figured that uh, the wood wouldn't really look right because it was a different species. So I just decided to remake uh, smaller doors for the printer cabinet out of the same cherry wood that I had in stock. So that's pretty much it um, in terms of the things that I wanted to explain. Everything else is self-explanatory. I've added call outs to some areas uh, so that you can see what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. So uh, that being said, I'll just shut up and let you watch my work. Uh, thanks for watching again. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And if you could hit the like button for me, I would appreciate it. Thanks a lot.